What's up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another episode of Demo Mode, a show where I take a demo of an upcoming game, try it out, and give you guys my thoughts, my gameplay, and my impressions of the game. Today's game is going to be on Yoshi's Crafted World on the Nintendo Switch. And if you didn't know, during the last Nintendo Direct, which was a couple of days ago, as of this recording, we got a brand new demo for Yoshi's Crafted World, which has one level, a side B of the level, and then also an extra hidden mission if you know how to unlock. So, now, right off the bat, the game is beautiful. I played it in dock mode as well as in portable mode. Both ways look incredible. The game has this crafted art style in which the whole game, or at least from what we know and what we've seen in trailers, looked like it was made out of a fifth grader's art project, which is a cool concept on paper and a cool concept to see. But, again, I'm not a huge fan of this diorama looking and feeling art style. I would have loved and preferred a traditional Mario themed world art style from the original Yoshi game with, you know, with baby Mario crying and all that. But then again, Yoshi games have always strayed away from that art style, mostly to look different than a traditional Mario game, which I can understand. The game controls and plays and feels tight like a Nintendo game should. All the jumps feel right. Yoshi's jump in particular feels like it was taken straight out of Yoshi's story, which is again, a fantastic game. One of my favorite Yoshi games. The game feels fine while playing either with the Joy-Cons and the system system, detach, in desktop mode, or on the TV with a pro controller. Now, the demo, again, is just one level. You do get to play a flip side, as they call it, or the B side, or the back side, where you travel from the end of the level to the front of the level, with different objectives of collecting multiple puppies who are running around through the level. And there, again, also another side mission that you get through the world hub, which wanted you to oddly knock over some cows, and then you have to jump back in the level to complete it, which, again, if they had that sprinkled throughout the whole game I think it would be pretty cool giving you a reason to retread some levels to get 100% to actually earn extra stuff in the game which from the trailers we're gonna see that we're gonna have to need to put coins in this coin collecting machine to get like loot boxes of boxes that we could put on Yoshi which is weird to see loot boxes in a Nintendo game but at the same time they don't I don't believe they affect gameplay I think they just take an extra hit for you but with an easy game like Yoshi I doubt it being an issue and overall the level that we do get to play within this demo is a breeze and enjoyable Yoshi games are always great platformers with a bit of soft action I like to call it and a bit of soft puzzle solving Yoshi eating enemies for enemy nation is still here and you get to shoot them back and it feels fine as ever especially being able to hit stuff in the foreground and in the background within the environment which is pretty cool showing hidden stuff again making the game feel like a little puzzly at times giving you that like hidden stuff in the background that you can interact with which i love and think is pretty cool especially when you think about yoshi games always feeling kind of like a hide and seek type game where you're trying to find every hidden collectible that they squeeze into these levels it's still a joy to be had finding every secret sunflower within a level that is still there which is pretty cool and after playing the demo is yoshi crafted world on my 2019 games to get list and i gotta tell you guys as of right now no sixty dollars no your sixty dollars could be well spent on a number of other titles that are rolling out in 2019 such as mario maker 2 zelda a link's awakening pokemon animal crossing hell even luigi's mansion at this point from what i played of yoshi's crafted world while it does stand out as a good game i don't know as a dad as someone that money is not particularly tight but i do like to choose on what games i'm going to purchase throughout the year yoshi is not making it on that list now that's for personal reasons i do encourage you to try the demo for yourself so you can make that judgment again for yourself so maybe you are able to just drop 60 on a action puzzle platformer that is going to be very easy you're probably going to beat it in a couple of days on your side but for me it's a definitely skip i did enjoy my time with the demo but again it's a skip for me so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below are you going to be picking up yoshi's crafted world and what's your thoughts on the brand new demo that we got during that last Nintendo Direct. And wow, that was a Nintendo Direct. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next 
demo mode. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.